Welcome to Skyworld News. Donald Trump has described the investigation into his alleged collusion with Russia as a witch hunt. There's all sorts of festive deals on offer and the temptation to overspend. How can we make sure that the seasonal shop doesn't end in Christmas misery? Well, joining me now is Malcolm Ferry from Jersey Citizens Advice Bureau. Hello, Malcolm. Thank you Hi, for coming Lisa. in. This can be a difficult time of year hitting your pocket, can't it? So what are the main things that people should be aware of? If you buy over the internet, you've got distance selling legislation. Mm, well, that's good for me because I was telling you that I'm always on the internet. Um, what about budgeting then so that people don't go over their budgets? Yeah. Some good advice there, Malcolm. Thank you very much indeed Thank for coming you, in. And you can get much more advice about your rights if you're heading out Christmas shopping on our website, itv.com. Some of them are exhausted. They've been there for three days. Some of them are angry and their plans and their holidays have been ruined. I spoke to one couple who are meant to be on their honeymoon at the moment. Honeymoon. This is your honeymoon. This is our honeymoon. And you've been at the airport for three, three days. days. Since Saturday. And and tell me again, where were you meant to be going for your honeymoon? We were supposed to be in Rome Saturday. Rome. And, and met the cruise ship in Rome and we missed it. And I can see on your faces, I can see that this is upsetting. I mean, how on earth do you feel? I'm angry. I'm very angry right yeah. now. I'm not just upset. I'm <laughs> well, we put that couple's experience to the chief executive of British Airways and this is what he had to say. We know and we are extremely sorry and what we will do is make up and follow absolutely our, our, our obligations. What, what, what precisely do they want the government to do that will make a difference? Well, what they're looking for, basically, is the government backing the endorsement for the COVID-19 tests at airports. Now, they see this as key to unlocking the aviation industry that's been paralysed, really, since March time. Um, so passengers would get off their flight, um, they'd have a test at the airport, and then they would need a second test several days later. This very programme, listeners have been saying this since, like, January or February, even before the lockdown. Listen, we, we need to shut down our borders we need to test everybody coming into our borders mm. seems like the horse has bolted the stable already well i think it's just come to the time when they they're, they're desperate the aviation industry if they've had enough and they really are suffering the government agrees that exports are the way forward. Brexit could also be an opportunity, with European products more expensive to those paying with the pound. The key to the industry's growth is the Jersey cow. They are super cows in terms of their genetics, producing more milk now than ever before, nearly 5,000 litres a year. When it comes to these, though, a new government report tells a story of one and a half million pounds lost profits. Hello and welcome to the London Stock Exchange studios for another broadcast interview with Business Worldwide magazine. Well, I'm delighted to be joined by Alex Fire, CEO of NLS1 Pharma, a cutting edge biotech company to talk about their novel treatments for ADHD and their plans for the future. So welcome, Alex. Thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, why is ADHD then such an important condition to manage? Thank you, Louisa. Delighted to be here. 